What's up guys? It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. So, <clears throat> somebody asked the other day um, what or how do I get an image to show up to be able to cut it in Sign Master. So, I'm going to look up an image of we'll say a fox and we'll say vector first of all you gotta make sure that your image is able to be seen I guess or able to be cut would be the right way to say it <clears throat> you don't want to skip this process so we'll just take let's see logo the first thing that you want to do is find one that you like. I guess we're just going to end up using this. Whatever. I don't want to use that. I just want to use a fox. Like an actual fox. What the heck. I can use that. I don't care. I'll use this one. I don't think that's a real logo. So, first thing that you're going to do is wait for your computer to load because it's the slowest thing on the planet. And right click it. Save it. Save it as whatever, it doesn't really matter because it's going to come up first unless you really care about that. Sorry, my computer is really, 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 really slow. It's saving, or whatever it's doing. And then we're going to go to uh, vectorize image online vectorization.org. And then we're going to go to choose file. What this does, okay, just so you guys know, the file that you find online doesn't have like perfect ed edges. It may to the naked eye, but to the cutter, it doesn't. And it'll be, it'll take like hours to cut your image because it'll just be like a bunch of indescribably small uh, little edges uh, like zigzags or whatever on the ends because it's almost like a pixelated version of what you're actually trying to do so um, the files there we'll push start and then it's going to come up in a clearer image at the end on the other side and this is our vectorized image I don't think it matters now you've got it down there you have two versions of this okay so this version of this will be like down here in the left hand corner you'll see it's got it'll actually not be an image it'll show up I don't think it'll be an image it'll just be like a weird thing so now you can do like right click insert image or import let's do import and we're gonna import and right there this is see the little loop-de-loo the loop-de-loo is the one that's been vectorized now see how it's holding the space it's gonna be huge apparently I just put it there okay and holy shit oh wow it's upside down that's kind of weird so I don't know why that did that that's kind of weird oh it's backwards strange Maybe they did that as like a copyright thing or something. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know why I did that. That's strange. Maybe it's because the one I picked. Let's go see if the top one is... I think it's the exact same image. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Let's try it again. Oh, shit. Let's try it again. Import. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is that's doing that for. I don't know. File view. I don't know. I think it's just the way, probably something they put on there so that I don't steal their image or something. I don't know what the hell. That's weird. But anyway, here's the image. And you push view to be able to f see what it's going to look like is like that. Okay. Okay. And then you just literally click whatever it is that you're doing. If it's going to be on your actual thing, you got to make sure it's small enough. So 
we gotta bring that down if you're gonna go bring it to my actual oh shit what the hell the logo has to be small we'll delete this one and then we'll zoom in and zoom down where the hell did it go it's around here somewhere there it is I think I have sorry I don't know why I'm going branded oh wait I think if I yeah there we go if you actually click the image you can just hurry up and zoom in with your roller so that's nice but anyway I was just trying to get it make sure you make sure you got it on there because if it's not in this area this space it won't be cut and I just shrink it down but does that make sense it has to be in your page and you can make your page bigger if you want but this is all dependent on what you're trying to cut so then you come up here to the cutter and it shows that that's what you're cutting so I hope that information helps you if it did please subscribe if it didn't please be kind have a wonderful day